To uh, load a map to a disk, you can simply go load fuel map. This allows you to access a directory of maps on your computer and we can uh, choose any map on our directory. So for instance, I'll do 848 first self map session at 13.2. I'll click on it, open it, and that map has just been added and loaded into our control unit. And you can view it now. You'll notice the changes in the map changed. Okay. If I want to save that map to a disk, I can name it as test map. In this case, click Save. And now, I'll always have access to that map in our directory. And to verify that, I can go back to my directory and we've got test map right there. Okay. If we ever want to clear the map, you hit the clear tab. It'll make sure that that's what you want to do and you didn't hit the tab inadvertently. You click OK. And now you've just cleared or erased that map. Okay. Let's load a map in to show you the how to make changes throughout the map. So let's load our 848 map in. All right. So here we have a map. And if we want to go in and manually make changes, this is what we do. You can click on one cell and type in a value right there at 30% throttle, 4,000 RPM. We've got negative 3% fuel, which means we're slightly leaning the bike by 3% at that RPM and throttle position. If I want to change that and add 5% there, I can simply type in a 5 and enter. And you'll see that that value's been changed. If I want to do a group of cells, I simply left click on a cell and click and drag and highlight a group of cells. A modify selected box will appear and it allows you to either replace the values in those cells with one singular value or select increment by which allows you to adjust all the values in that cell by a certain percentage either positively or negatively. Okay? There's also a smooth feature. If you select a smooth feature what this does is it blends the values in the cells from cell to cell. For instance, if you have a value in your map that seems a bit out of place, um, you can go in, select a group of cells around that, and click Smooth. What will happen is the system will automatically take into account the values surrounding or adjacent to that cell and blend the values together, which basically results in a better map for a better fuel transition on your bike. So it's uh, less abrupt. So here I'm going to choose to increment by, click on the tab, and let's say I want to add 2% fuel to this whole range. I type in 2%, notice the values in the highlighted range, click apply, and those values have all been adjusted by 2%. Okay. Likewise if I select a group of cells and I click replace with, and let's say I want to put 10% fuel in this region and 10% in every cell. I type in 10%, I click apply, and all those values are now 10%. Okay. The smooth feature, as you'll see, we have 10% in the map at 60 and 70% and 5,500 and 6,000 RPM. Well, right next to those cells, we have negative 2, negative 4, negative 3, negative 1. So that's if you see that throughout your map, you might think that's a little off and you want to blend those values. So what I'll do is I'll come here, I've selected that range of cells, I'll click Smooth Data and Apply. And what you see is those values have just been changed. So it took a negative 10 or plus 10 and changed the values around it and blend it. So now when your bike's running through this portion of your map, it's going to result in a better transition and smoother power delivery. Okay, so that's just one of the features of the fuel mapping tab.